Hey everyone, James and Mark. We are actually back at the Filipino market that we took you guys a few weeks ago and we got so much love on that video and a lot of suggestions on what to eat. We're going to be picking up those items and taste testing them at home. So uh, here's our shopping list. Just one is enough. <laughs> Alright, so our first uh, dish we're going to try. Mark just picked up cucumbers and tomatoes and these were the salted eggs that you all told us that you eat with uh, white rice, so... Do we put it in a pan? That's probably the most sensible thing to do. Are they... <clears throat> they're cooked already, right? So they sh we, did we don't need to worry about them. <laughs> they also have these... Oh, but let's just... Okay, this is easier. This might be easier, yeah. I didn't even see this last time. Alright, uh, the next thing on uh, the shopping list is bagung, which I remember where it is. It's in this corner over here. It's a condiment that you could eat with raw mangoes. It's like a snack. So, this one I'm most familiar with. Alright. Back to the main. We're so inefficient. Well, at least we know where everything is this time. Do you have... Oh, mangoes right here. Are they... You're supposed to get the raw one, I mean like the unripe one, but are they all pretty ripe? So like the green one? Yeah. Yeah, it's firm. So Vietnamese people actually eat something very similar, but we use fish sauce. A really? little sugar and a little chili. So I can see, I think I'm gonna end up liking this because I haven't had that in years. Usually my mom would cut fruit and then we would eat it at home. All right, we need to go pick up some Sweet spaghetti sauce. UFC is one of the brands. And then I think Fiesta right here is the other, which is nice. This is a small, reasonable portion for us to do a taste test. All right, so you remember our last run, we already picked up the chili, chili mansi flavor, but uh, one of you suggested to add two packets of the sweet and spicy with it, with it, which we have here. Actually, we have everything. Um, I do want to just check if they have this brand of um, corned beef hash that someone suggested. It was called Deli Mondo. Do they have any of that? I see a lot of palm. Dang, palm has like a monopoly. Hereford, Argentina. We're on supermarket sweep, and then this is the last item we need to find, and we didn't get it, so we don't win the money. All right, we got all the goods here in the bag. How much did the total come out to, Mark? The grand total is 33.14. Okay. This is actually going to be like our lunch for the day. So we're super excited to try all of your suggestions. Let's head home. All right, we're back in our kitchen and we're ready to start with everyone's recommended dishes. So what should we start off with first? I think it makes the most sense to start off with the mango and the bagung, which is a very... Uh, well, it's a sauteed shrimp paste. So it's kind of an interesting combination because you wouldn't think that those two would go together. I think it's going to be delicious. So I think we should start <laughs> out with that first. Oh, you already know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you know how to peel mangoes? That's why I never eat mangoes <laughs> unless they're peeled. Oh, that oh, makes it easy. Oh, so this is for sure on the harder side. Yeah. So what's your theory on why you should use unripened mangoes with this? Because it's sour? I don't know. Yeah, I think part of it is like... Um, I think when you have like ripened fruit, it tends to be sweeter. And so you don't want to compete with something that's more or less going to be a savory thing. So I think that's why you use more unripened. And also the texture just seems better with, with it. Otherwise, you're going to have something very soft with something also very soft. You grew up eating unripe mangoes, huh? Yeah. I never had it until I met you. Super uh, popular way of eating it would be uh, just a little side of uh, fish sauce, a little bit of... Um, chopped chilies in there oh. and then um, sometimes you can add sugar in there or not but uh, to be honest it wasn't like my favorite way of eating it but that was just kind of how I had to grow up because that was like how my parents prepared it. I wonder if it's like your parents are like we can't wait for the mango to arrive let's just eat it unripe. <laughs> there you go. Close. Mark's all about the presentation I was just gonna open that. <laughs> Yeah. All right, time to open up. This is the, is the Fiesta a brand? It is, right? Or is this just also oh my the word God. Fiesta? I don't know. The mango sticker, when I was watching the mango, you know how they have stickers on the produce? Mm -hmm. That also said Fiesta on it. Oh, okay. It's a party up in here. 
Fiesta. Although, I should have this off. Fiesta might be good, but apparently not for the spaghetti sauce, which we'll try later. Yeah, stick around for that. Okay, I think I say we smell it first. Hmm. It just, to me, it smells like a very concentrated soy sauce, so nothing mm. super fermented about mm -hmm. it. So it looks kind of, there's a layer of oil on top, and then there's all this, the paste right underneath the top layer. Mm. So it's like a paste. Yeah. It's like a paste, right? Almost like a thick hoisin sauce mm. and oil. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese cuisine, the equivalent would be uh, mam ruk, which is also like a very fermented uh, shrimp paste sauce that we use in a lot of our cuisine. Mm, I got, got a like, nice big... I got a hefty I don't even know if this is a lot or not. All right, cheers. Mmm. -hmm. That need, was a big bite. Or a big scoop. I need, I need three more. <laughs> it's salty. It is salty, but I think part of my taste buds mm. have evolved to know mm. this flavor, but maybe for you it might be a little bit more. With the third piece, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> but can you see why the firmness mm. of the mango makes it a lot better than just eating it? You know, it reminds me of samjang. So mm. I grew up eating like cucumbers with samjang and a little goes a long way too, you know? So. You're right, this actually does remind me of samjang. <gasps> Should we do Korean barbecue with bagoon sauce? Mmm. Mmm, with pork belly? That'd be good, really good. I would actually eat this. All right, let's move on to the next thing. So the next dish that we're gonna try is combining these two flavors of pancit. This one is sweet and spicy, and we're gonna combine it with chili mansi. If you don't know what chili mansi is, it sounds like a combination of chili peppers and calamansi. And calamansi is like a citrus that's very really popular in the Philippines. Oh, like a lemon, right? Yeah. Lime, lemon lime. So I, sh I'm, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of zest in this dish. All right. All right, so it says to cook the noodles in boiling water for three minutes. And in the meanwhile, mm. they actually wrote meanwhile. Meanwhile, as the noodles is cooking, mix the sauce in a separate bowl and then set that off to the side oh. and then put the drained noodles with the mixed sauce. And then I guess you just all mix it together. Okay, so inside, there's a couple of sauce packets. Ooh, what's this? This looks like oil and garlic, maybe? A little soy sauce looking thing, and then seasoning, and then you got your ramen here. I guess I uh, love the brand of this. It's called Lucky Me. <laughs> well, Lucky Me, we're about to eat you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Careful. Here's the second one. It's like a Sunday spa day for them. I don't know. These needles are cute. So at the market, the one that uh, we went to, this was two for a dollar. Yeah. Right. Oh. Oh, I thought this was a soy sauce, but it's much thicker, almost like molasses. Okay, this one is uh, actually more liquidy. So the sauce isn't as thick as the others. And then you could tell that this one has that calamansi in there. So I'm gonna give this a nice stir right now. So it's the oil and the soy sauce will dissolve a lot of it. And let's pour this in. Oh, oh. there we go. Now, don't be fooled that this doesn't look like we have enough sauce, it's because the sauce right now is all on the bottom, huh? Yeah. So. Mm. Now I'm sure we could add like green onions and some meat to this, but we're gonna just try it plain. It kind of grew. <laughs> it was like, it, it, I didn't think it was a lot of noodles, but. He's a grower. Look. Oh my god. But I feel like we just came back from like a heavy night of drinking and this is what I would want to eat. Oh, right? maybe. This is that, that vibe I'm well, getting. Like, see, I'm not drunk right now. Well, let's see if the flavor is actually, you know, it gives you that vibe Okay, too, let's right? see. But look-wise, definitely. Right. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Okay. Oh wow. The I ratio like is good. I think that I taste the calamansi mm -hmm. and I taste the spicy, but the ratio is good. It's what did good. we do? Two to one? Two to one. Two, Two sweet and spicy, one, one calamansi. I think if it, if we only ate calamansi, it would have been maybe too like citrusy for yeah. me, but oh, really good. So simple too and so good. I kind of want like slices of like fried spam on the side. Oh yeah. And a fried egg. <sighs> okay. Do you want fried egg? No, we shouldn't. <laughs> we gotta get, we still got two more uh, <laughs> things to try. But. And the other day, uh, Mark uh, berated me for not slurping all my noodles. So I, we should do a replay, but I like inhaled it without letting, like, without biting it. So I, now I'm a little worried I can do it. <laughs> what was that? You're not supposed to bite your noodles, right? But it also feels like I'm like running out of air. I don't know if that's a smart thing to do, but oh my. It's so good. It is pretty good, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I actually like these noodles more than the pancit we had at the food court. Mm. This just has more flavor. There's like a bounciness to the way you cooked it. Really good. Mm. Okay, we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna move on to our actually next noodle dish. We are gonna be comparing the UFC and the Fiesta spaghetti sauce. So from my recollection, I feel like more people were team UFC in our, in our comments more than the Fiesta, but we'll be the judge of that. I tonight. actually don't recall anyone said Fiesta spaghetti mm -mm. sauce was good. That's so, true. Yeah. Um, if, it's, if that's true, then why sell them? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure other people might like it out there. Go in. I didn't read the package, but how long did we do this for? Like eight minutes? I think I said eight minutes, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that bright redness. It almost looks like ketchup. Yeah. Wow. Our pasta is done, so we're going to put them into two bowls so that we could have the different sauces in each. Let me just do a Costco sampling size. <laughs> Unlimited <laughs> pasta night at Olive Garden. This one seems a little bit more liquidy. Yeah, right? it's the Fiesta one's liquidy. That's what I noticed. Yeah, this one has like a brighter red color. This is like deep, deep deeper, deep blood red, like blood, like UFC, like when you fight in there, this is the blood that would come out. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're called UFC. That's yeah. really on brand. No, I don't know. I feel like I need to add a little bit of cheese. That's what I see at the uh, at Jollibee, right? Yeah. They had a little. So let me go ahead and just mix this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we had more time, uh, you could always add like the sliced hot dog. Oh, is really popular. That would be good. A little ground beef. This one is the UFC. UFC. Okay. This one's the UFC. Yes. So should we go for it? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Now, if you've never had mm. spaghetti sauce, like Filipino spaghetti sauce particularly, there's a sweetness to it that might be surprising to you, but pretty good. This one's pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Yeah, this one already looks a little sadder because it's not really coating the pasta that well. Mm. This one's not bad, actually. <laughs> it tastes totally different. Not Very bad. Different. Less sweet, right? Is it less, less sweet? sweet? I'm gonna need to go back. It has, but then remember, uh, James did make a point. We picked up the Fiesta sweet spaghetti sauce with Parmesan already in it, so maybe that's what I'm tasting, but not that bad. However, it is on the, like the sauce is on the watery side. This is hard. I thought I knew. But these additional bites are making me change my mind. Hold on. One more. I shouldn't have gone back and eaten it. I think I totally switched it up. Okay, how about on the count of three, we point to the one we prefer. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. 
I originally picked this, but when I came back I to it, I changed my mind too. Originally, I was gonna choose this, originally. but after the second bite, I chose. Okay, this. let's walk through our thought process on how we chose it. Taste is one thing, but we also taste with our eyes mm. and visually this looks so much prettier yeah so i think with the combination of the mouth taste and the eye taste that this one just edged it by ever so slightly but this was good well i i really liked the texture of this one it was a much thicker sauce yeah. which was more appealing and it kind of gave me that like warmth inside my stomach <laughs> but if i start i started thinking about what can i eat like what would i if the camera wasn't rolling what one would i continue eating it was probably going to be the less sweet one oh. this one is is what i think of when i eat jolly bee like vibe. yes uh filipino spaghetti but this one i think is a good kind of like on the way there, but not quite there. And I can oh, kind of- If you never had Filipino spaghetti before, yeah. this Fiesta is probably a better one to start off with. Yeah, to and start And then it. you could go into UFC. Like, this is like boba when you get 75% sweet. This is full on <laughs> boba where you don't adjust the sweetness at all. So yeah. our last dish is going to be those mysterious pink eggs that- Oh my God. Uh, actually on the way here, we texted our friend and we we're like, do we cook it? Do we just eat it as is? So she told us, you just slice it up and you can eat it as is. And many of you had suggested eating it with white rice and tomatoes. And then Mark also added cucumbers because we always like cucumbers with salty dishes. So. You want some bagu? Oh. Let's try it. Let's... When in Philippines. I was going to say Rome, but we're in the Philippines today. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. It's good. I want to, um, and then the tomatoes, we're just going to cut them in like wedges. Yeah. A lot of Vietnamese dishes have just sliced tomato and cucumber. So it's really the egg. That's the wild card. We have no idea what's it going to taste like. Right, uh, we're gonna get into these eggs. We're assuming they're hard boiled. I, I apologize in advance if we're doing this all wrong, but we think they're hard boiled. Do you think the um, the egg white is this color too then? It must be, right? Oh, it has, yeah, it seeps like a- It seeps through? Maybe it seeps okay. through. All right, how does it feel? Like an egg. Yeah, it, it, there's, you don't feel like the yolk. Like. Do we just crack it like a hard boiled egg? You think so? Well, we have four. If we mess up, we can always use- Oh, uh, how's yeah. that working? It cracks. Okay. It just feels like a normal hard boiled egg. Okay. But the color does not seep through. Yeah, though. it's so maybe it's just to let you know that it's a duck egg, I think. This is a duck egg, not a chicken egg. Oh girl, but she's hard to peel. Yeah. Oh, be careful. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if I had duck egg before. Are you doing slices? What's the what's the vision here? In half like ramen? Oh, okay. Let's see how that Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Oh! Oh! oh. It, it leaks. It leaks. It's leaking. Cindy, the TV's leaking. Oh. oh. Okay, that caught us <laughs> surprise. Careful, it might burst. I'm gonna say that this is the UFC egg and this is the Fiesta <laughs> egg. <laughs> so we got some uh, white rice in the microwave because you all know around here we don't use a rice cooker. That's a still a sore subject around here. No, that's gonna, gonna be been... for another video. Okay. So, all right, I'm gonna tell you again, don't do like a massive bite. Like let's <laughs> ease our way into it before we, you know, commit. So I'm gonna eat, ready? Mmm, mm. it's salty. Mm, this is where you eat this. It, wow, they look a long way. I want to say it's saltier than a bagoon. It's the yolk that's salty, right? Yeah. It's good though. Mm, it's very salty. <laughs> <laughs> This one's a no for me. I don't think it's not so much the saltiness. I think it's the texture of the yolk. 
that almost reminds me, it's not quite, but it reminds me like almost like sand. Mm -hmm. And I don't really like that granular texture. But outside of that, it tastes fine, but I just, I can't get over the texture. It's part. very good. Yeah, the yolk. We need to try the peanut butter yolk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I'll give that one a chance. Just a little bit, and then maybe mix it in with the rice, like butter. No, oh, it's even more granular. <laughs> <laughs> it's grainy, it's really grainy. Texture is not there, but in terms of like, a saltiness is actually really good with plain white rice, mm -hmm. right? So if you're really hungry and you're like, I don't want to cook anything, just pick up a, a salted duck egg and you, one egg you could probably eat 10 bowls of rice. <laughs> How cost effective is this meal? Well, we had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for all the recommendations of foods that we probably wouldn't have tried. Uh, if there's anything else that you want us to try, uh, let us know down below in the comments and check out our other video when we tried authentic Filipino food like papaitan, diniguan. Oh, I See, remember our, that. That was many years ago. We, yeah. we might need to revisit those because it's been a long time. Maybe okay. our perceptions of it have changed. Okay. But in any case, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.